Good morning, family. I pray that God would give you the grace and the strength that you need to be very successful in this day, okay? The last two videos, uh, we spoke about the fact that the Holy Spirit opens our minds to understand the scriptures, to understand the word of God. It talked about the fact that Jesus did so back in Luke 24, 45. Jesus would have done that with the disciples and the Holy Spirit is doing that for us today, giving us the ability to understand what the scriptures are saying. And then the next day we spoke about positioning ourselves and things that we need to do so as to have our minds open and to receive God's word. And we use the acronym SOAP, okay? And now today, I wasn't going to come back here, but then I was doing my morning devotion and I was reading Proverbs 21. So it would have been on Saturday, I was doing it. And in verse 16, it says, A man who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. And when I read that, talk about the Holy Spirit opening our understanding, immediately he took me right back to Luke 24, 45 and connected the two. So basically the Holy Spirit is here to open our understanding that we can put together the scripture. And then we are told that we are not to wander away from that understanding. The one who wanders away from that understanding would rest in the assembly of the dead. So it means there's something we need to do. As I said, the P in soul is for practice. When we gain that understanding, we now need to practice the word of God. We cannot turn a blind eye to it and go on doing whatever we want to do. Otherwise, it would be a detriment to our lives and possibly the persons around us. Think about a mirror. And in James, the scripture talks about that as well. But think about a mirror. If you look in a mirror and you see a speck on your face, you're not going to walk away and leave that speck. You're going to wipe it off. So the word of God is like a mirror. When we look into it and we see the reflection of sin or the reflection of wrongdoing or something in our lives that need to be changed, don't just walk away and not seek to change it. But instead, submit yourself to the Lord and allow him to do that transformative work in your life so that you will not wander away from that understanding that the Holy Spirit has given to you. May God help us as we live and breathe in this life to be changed and transformed and to bring him tremendous glory. Have a good day.